He's in the house. When the candle's lit, that means Jesus is there. So we quietly don't talk to each other. The best way to prepare for Mass is to talk to Jesus quietly. Just turn to him and ask him to help you, especially during this time of Lent, a special time where we want to show love to Jesus. So just look there, or look at the cross and see what he did for you. After Mass, when you receive the ashes, we're going to give you a little cross and a miracle prayer. So we want all of you, if you could uh, say the prayer all during Lent and hold the cross all I should go through the fall, Lent, 40 days of Lent, to realize that Jesus did this for you and to thank Jesus for what he's done for you. So we want you to hold that little cross all through Lent, on the bus, in school, at work, wherever you may be. We'll hold that cross and we have this miracle prayer that Father Youngberg gave us when we were uh, at his retreat and it's a beautiful prayer. And the miracle prayer is to ask for a miracle in your life. And my prayer for the miracle is to all of you to love Jesus in a very special way uh, during the Lenten season. So that would be a miracle in a very special way, okay? Um, I want to thank all of you who see this birthday card. I want to thank all of you who made this birthday card for me. And uh, they did it uh, Saturday night you know, when we had our uh, Mardi Gras dinner and dance. And the kids came up, I didn't know that uh, they even did it, but they made this beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, birthday card. I, uh, I don't think I could put it into my bed, but maybe I could put it under my bed. So I'll, I'll have this birthday card under my bed. Okay, Donna, tell me when you're ready. Take your time, I'll work fast. Okay. Uh, we have, uh, if you want to go up to the choir up, up there, we have room upstairs. And if you walk, with, if you're on the aisle, just move in a little to make a little more room for uh, people who are still coming in. If we do that. And Fred, would you come here and uh, read the book? Fred, God told me to tell you to come up here and be a lecture. This way we get you off. off. Just come up here. Okay. And, uh, and Connor. you could be my golfer boy, too, if you want to. Connor.
sent me a um, special email and a text me telling me to thank all of you who have come tonight. For Mary and Jesus, I'm very, very happy that you've come to start Lent with them. So we come to give thanks because each one of us has our own personal life. And our personal life is the way Jesus wants to fulfill his ministry for these 40 days. He's got a special job for you because he created you like no one else. He made you just the way you are. And he wants your life to be his source of ministry. Only you are the minister of your life. And Jesus has chosen you to minister, to bring his love, his hope, and his faith into your life through you. So we give thanks to God for the life he's given us. And we give thanks to him for being here tonight. And he gives thanks to you for being here. So we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. <coughs> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
We are born on behalf of Christ. We reconcile to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, but did not know sin. For our sake, he made him to be hope, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden, he will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise this morning I got a telephone call. When are you giving out ashes? When are you giving out ashes? Do I have to come to Mass? When are you giving out ashes? And I give out ashes at 8 o'clock. I went to the Liberty of factory. I give ashes. I came out from the ashes. And I went to another factory on uh, Commerce Street, gave out ashes. Then I went to Stonebrook Fridge and I gave out ashes. I was giving out ashes all over the place because everybody wants ashes. And somebody come up, you're not going to have mass, are you? <laughs> when can I come and I just get the ashes? And for some reason, we, people want to get these ashes, like the other man, he took an uh, envelope and he took, ran home to his grandmother and he brought ashes. And I said, I wonder if they understand what ashes are all about. Yesterday we had a funeral and the ashes were there. Thou art dust and unto dust thou shalt return. A woman uh, just died, he was 102 years old. And his body now became ashes. And is that what life is all about? Realizing that he lived 102 years old. 102 years, and he was millions of years before that, and millions of years after, but that 102 years are uh, just a drop in the ocean of eternity. Is that all ashes about, that you're going to turn into ashes? Or that other phrase that says, repent and believe the good news. Yes, we need to think that we come from ashes, and we're going to go back to, we came from nothing, and we're going to go back to nothing, except to be with God for all eternity. So is that just about ashes? Or is that a little more than what we say, repent 
and believe in the good news. What does repent mean? Repent means to make a U-turn. To make a U-turn from where you are and to make a U-turn to Christ. And Jesus calls us to make that U-turn. And he gives us three ways to make a U-turn. We have 40 days to prepare for Easter. Today I was at the mall. I ordered one I saw Easter bunnies. There's no sign of re resurrection. The Easter bunny means to be able to uh, generate and generate and generate. That's all it means. But what does Easter mean? Just an Easter bunny? Or a little more, repent. Turn around, make a U-turn. Did you ever make a U-turn on a highway? I went to see my brother yesterday and I was talking uh, uh, on uh, Bluetooth. Honestly, I was talking on Bluetooth. But I got so engrossed, I ended up in uh, a park. And I made a U-turn to come back onto North, uh, North, Northern State and wrote to Long Island. I've been going there for 53 years. I went to see my brother who's got the dementia and he's, and he's dying. And God asked us to make a U-turn, not in a park, but a U-turn in our own life. He wants to do it three ways. First, he says he wants prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. What can he says about prayer? Well, this morning at quarter seven, there are a lot of us saying the rosary, the divine mercy, and we're saying the morning prayer. And we would have said evening prayer because but so many people are here, here. I think I'll have four collections, by the way. <laughs> so many people here. But, but the Lord says, call to praying. Not prayers only. Prayers are saying the rosary, saying the Our Father, say the Hail Mary. And I'm sure all the kids know the Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory be, and the Apostles' Creed by now. That's saying prayers. But when, when Jesus says pray, that's a little different. We need to pray if we're going to do prayers. And praying means to be conscious of God's presence in our lives. Can we have five children come up here right away? Hurry up. Three, three, come up. You two, come up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Take your time. Work fast. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come right up here. Come up. Hurry up. Five. Anybody know how to count to five? One, two, three, four. One more. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, when, here's where we find out what uh, uh, ashes mean in the uh, anointing your, your forehead. The ashes on the forehead remind us of your baptismal time. When you were first born, that first mark and you say you belong to Jesus' family. Then the next mark, the cross, do everything in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's where your whole day becomes a prayer. At 5.30 when I got on the treadmill, I made a sign of the cross. So my whole day became a prayer. Then the next one, you are a Christ child. You belong to Christ. The next one, this cross reminds you that you are consecrated or you belong to God. Not, not just like the sister, not just like Lisa there as a mother, but every one of you are consecrated to God at baptism. And then the last one, he's marked and he's told that he's going to have his cross. And everybody here has a cross. And that cross that he will have or has is sharing the Christ's cross. That's how the salvation goes. Let's give a big clap for these cross -builders. So that cross and the forehead with the ashes has a tremendous meaning. And the first way is to pray. And when I, when I marked him in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, so the whole day would become a prayer. This morning at quarter seven, I was looking down, I'm looking at the statue of Mary, and said, Mary, let me love like you love. Let, let, let me love for their sake and not my, for your, my sake. Let my love be for you and for them primarily. Make me a new turn for being, I want people to love me, but rather to love people for their sake, not for them to love me for my sake. Yes, that's what prayer is, to waste time with God, to just be with God, whether you're at the mall, whether you're in school, you're on a bus, wherever you are, just quietly during Lent to spend time with God. Become aware that Jesus is there within you, on the bus when you're watching television. When I went to see my brother, I don't watch television very often. Um, we don't have left enough electricity. But uh, seriously, I don't watch, but I sat down with my brother, and he's got Alzheimer's, and he's out of it, and my sister-in-law is almost out of it. And I was just going to turn out this program called Ellen, I guess it's like Oprah. Anybody watch Ellen? Okay, and I was shocked 
I was shocked at what I saw at 3 o'clock. I was embarrassed what I saw. The kids are home at that time. Anybody remember Ed Sullivan? Remember Ed, El Ed Sullivan? How could you remember Ed Sullivan? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody remembers Ed Sullivan? Put up your hands. We got arthritis. Okay. Anybody remember Dodge City? Remember Dodge City? Thank you, Mr. Lemkins. Boy, I'm really old. Anybody remember Brady Bunch? Yeah. Father knows best. Okay, put your hands down. Now take that and go and compare what you have now. I looked at that Ellen show and I was so embarrassed. I looked at it, I was there with Flip, I saw a cartoon. I was embarrassed and I'm 79 years old. And I saw another L uh, email, not our, a news on the my, uh, internet about what kids see in cartoons. Now don't tell me Satan does not exist. To go from a Brady Brunch, to go from uh, Father Knows Best or an Ed Sullivan show, to go, go to um, Dancing with the Stars, to wear their dress, <coughs> or you look at the uh, of reality shows. And what I saw, I don't see television that much. I feel sorry for these kids. Don't tell me evil does not exist. Just compare television for the 50s and the television to uh, the 2012s and see what these kids look at. 1,500 hours a year to look at violence, sex, and you got to have all these kids to be happy. Very self-centered. That's what they're brainwashed. And don't tell me that Satan isn't there. They average 10 hours a year at catechism and 1,500 hours a year watching television. We don't have a chance, except the mommy and daddy are sitting next to them. So God is asking us to pray. Imagine, would Jesus be embarrassed? I was embarrassed yesterday. And I'll look at the, at the end of a Yukon game or at the Yankee Red Sox game. Uh, but that's about all. And I have a little news. But I said, this is what these kids are being bombarded with in the cartoons and what you're being bombarded with, that there's no thing as sin anymore. And yet, to me, to watch television is to sit there, Jesus is sitting next to me, watching with me. What programs would you watch if you really believe Christ is with you? And that's what praying is, awareness of Christ with me all during my day. From morning to night. The second part, point to repent, to make a U turn, is to fast. Who's going to be give up candy for Lent? Now, nobody needs to go on a diet, I said. Now, don't give up candy. Don't, don't give up smoking, right? Give up drinking if you've got a problem. But don't, don't give up anything. But feast during, after, during Lent. I'll give you a personal, my, my own fasting. Last night after supper at the Friar's house at St. Paul's, they always give me a care package, that's all I eat for the rest of the week. And right before I left, I said, Father Martin, I said, Martin, I need to go to confession, Lent is coming. So I went to confession. Now to me, fasting from pride and feasting on humility, it's very, very humble to say a priest after you had the supper, say, hey, Marty, I want to go to confession. For me, fasting is not giving up candy or giving up desserts. That's nothing. That's all self-centered. I'm worried about my waistline. But fasting for me is fasting from pride and feasting on humility. For the ch children, is fasting from fighting with the brothers and sisters, fe feasting on uh, spending time and helping each other homework. Fasting from hating and feasting on forgiving. Fasting from being self-centered and feasting on helping others. Fasting from being uncharitable and feasting on seeing good in people. Fasting from fighting in school and feasting and walk away from fighting like Jesus did. Uh, fasting from uh, being selfish and feasting on helping others. Fasting from being so uh, unruly and feasting on being quiet and listening to your mommy and daddy. Fasting from watching television and feasting on doing your homework so you get a good job. Fasting from complaining about what you have at the cafeteria and feasting on what God gave you. Uh, fasting from uh, holy and grudge, feasting on forgiving. 
fasting for being selfish, and feasting on being generous. All of us are called to fast. My fasting is fasting from pride and feasting on humility. Each one of you are called to fast during the Lent. And that way make a U-turn for being selfish and repenting and centering on God. And the third way, God says, uh, pray, fast, and almsgiving. Does that mean give money to the church? Yes, it does, but it means a lot more than that. When he says almsgiving, use the treasures that you have, the treasures of kindness, the treasures of love, the treasures of peace, the treasures of sharing, the treasures of listening, the treasures of prayer. All these treasures that are in you, God wants you to make a huge turn and use the treasures that are within you. And God is calling you to have a wonderful life. Well, we could be like the fellow, give me the ashes, and that's it, he works. That, I got my ashes, I'm all done for Lent. Or this could be the first day of Lent, where you listen to what the priest says. Remember, repent, and believe the good news that God loves you, the gospel that God loves you. Remember thou art dust, and thus thou shalt return. And on your way out, you're going to get a little cross. Hold that cross wherever you go to remind you that Jesus died on the cross for you. And there's a miracle prayer. A prayer that will perform a miracle that will you will repent, make a U-turn, and believe in God's love for you. Yes, remember, wherever you go, Jesus is there. And if you really, really believe he's there, your whole day becomes a beautiful prayer. The prayer that God asks you to do during Lent. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now we have the prayer of the faithful. Will we come up with the prayer of the faithful, please? God, we come together to ask you to hear our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, that he will remain strong in his leadership of Holy Mother Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Cardinal elect Dolan and the American bishops that they will have the courage and strength they need in these difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord <laughs> for religious freedom for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord that, Catholic, that all Catholics will live what we profess to believe. We pray to the Lord. Lord of Sacred Heart Parish, that they will grow closer to God who loves them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the holy souls in purgatory, they will be in heaven soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children in Sacred Heart's CCD program, that they take their study seriously and love God with all their heart. For your mommies and daddies, that they will lead you through these 40 days of life, not to an Easter body, but to the resurrection of Christ, by their prayer life, by their fasting, and by their treasures that God gave them, we pray to the Lord. Lord our sister uh, Mary Elizabeth, as she goes to her new life in, a, in the West Coast to serve God in a new way, in a very special way, in thanksgiving for all that she's done for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the world, especially peace in families, both mommies and daddies will respect each other, and that children will respect their mommies and daddies, and vice versa, that there will be really peace in family. Because where Jesus is, there is peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we be conscious of the sinfulness in our own life and respond with, uh, with God's forgiveness through confession during this, month, during this time of Lent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For that special intention you have right now, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays today, 
for Michael Constantine Flores, Demaro, Adana Leduc, Stephen Sokolowski, all those I called up yesterday, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We ask this for Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the collection.